Okay then, first things first. When you get your water off, there will be a little bit of water when you undo these nuts, okay? So don't worry, I've got a little container here I'm going to put under there. And we're going to get the nut moving now. It's going to be a bit tight when you first do them, so hold against. We can now put that out of the way. There. I'm going to put these on here. And turn this one down this way. Open this spanner up. And turn it like so. You can see it's gone there. Okay. And the container's gone also. Put it back there in case there's any water in it. And we'll undo that side there. So, undo it. Right there. Get a little bit of water in it, but not much. There we are. There's, our, there's the little bit of water that's in it. Not too bad. There we are. Get that one out. Now we'll undo the other side. <coughs> Once again, we'll need to hold against because it will want to move. So pull that back there, <coughs> out of the way. And then we've got to get that held against on there because it's going to try and move around. So I'll put our container down and out of the way for a second. Most of it was out of it anyway. And I'm going to flick it up that way, like so. And there it goes. It's always a bit tight at the first pinch. After that, it gets moved. I'm going to put a container back. Is there any more water there? And we'll just get a little, a little bit stiff. This one's got a bit more paint on it. As you can see. Is coming off. Yeah. And that's it. There's our horrible ball to fix. So here we have it. Now I've got a fair bit of room. I think this will go straight on now. Because we're using the same nuts on here, the same chrome nuts as well, and they're gonna fit. I don't think we're going to need to actually take the nuts and all these off because those threads look like they're going to be the same. So we can literally slide it on and just do it up. See that? That's a good thing with these border fix valves. We'll go straight on the same thread. So it's very easy to replace your border fix with one of these decent valves you know, that do this. And you can line this up any way you want. Okay, so I'm gonna hit there and drop it down to there for on. And that's off position. So let's now we've got a handle on it now, so we can hold against with the handle. So it makes life a lot easier because we've now got something. We haven't got to put a spanner on the other side. We can get rid of my little container there now. No more water in it, and just lift it up. And there it goes. I can feel it going up there now. Give it a little pinch. Same this side. <coughs> again. A little pinch. There we go. I'm saying that the good thing about say letting these on where it was a ball to fix, you won't need these nuts on you can use the old ones. If you're a bit worried about them, put tape around them if you want. Um, a bit of PTFE tape if you're not sure. Um, but generally they are always alright. So you can get away with it. And if you want to put these on, the original nuts that come with it, then do so, but you remember you've got to knock those cones and olives, or the, sorry, the olives and nuts off the old ones to put these on. Percy, as they're all chrome, I don't see it's worth it. If they were brass ones, I would simply fiddle the lock sort of thing. But basically that's it. So we turn the water back on, down here. That's it, and now we should be tickety-boo. There we go. What?